access your calendar, you want to go up to the main menu at the top and you're going to click on calendar. And you'll notice that your calendar opens and it's defaulted to the month view. And usually your date is highlighted. And if you want to create a new event, you go to the top left hand corner, you click on the plus sign that says new event. And you'll get the window that opens up to help you to generate your new event. You're going to type the title in here. And then location is where you're going to be meeting. And your attendees, if you type in somebody that is in your email list, you can also type in someone's email address if you'd like. What I wanted to point out is for attendees, once you have added attendees, you'll notice instead of save, you're going to see send. I'm going to delete the attendees because we're not going to do that feature for this tutorial. But I just wanted you to know that that was available to you. You can select the date that you want your meeting to start and you can select the time. You'll notice the duration is set at 30 minute intervals. If you're set at all day, you lose your time because of course it's an all day event. If you set it at 30 minutes, you're not going to get a start and end time. If you select custom, you'll get a start time and you'll get an end time. What I also want to show you is reminder. That's going to generate a reminder to you that you actually have an upcoming event. It'll give you a chime so you'll hear something and it will show your event up here in the top menu. So I have one reminder notification. If I click on it, you're going to see that this is what the reminder will look like. In the next section show as, you're going to be using this feature um, as we start to utilize some of the other tools in Office 365. But for right now, we're going to skip over the section. Repeat, that will allow you to repeat your event however you'd like. You may want to repeat it daily, you may want to do a weekly, a monthly, a yearly, and if you select this you'll see that there's a bunch of different um, options for you there. The next thing is Marcus Private. If you select this, what that will do is if you share your calendar with somebody else, they won't be able to view this particular event because you've marked it private. In this last section you have a text box where you actually can type in notes. You can use it for your personal use. Know if you're inviting attendees to this event, they will actually see what is in this section. Once you're done, if you go up to the top menu, you're going to see the save and you're going to click save and then you'll notice that your event has been added on the right hand side. Just know that in Office 365 there is many ways to get to the same place. If you want to edit this new event you can double click on it or you can just click once and it will open up your little mini window and you can click edit here.